all, it's Jim Johnson, a.k.a. Sulfur Blade. Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my content, and welcome back to War in the Sea, and my continuation of the Defense of the East Let's Play. <coughs> okay, with that being said, let's move the clock up yonder here, jump in, and see what happens today. <clears throat> okay. Those guys are moving. Bombay Merchant Group is heading somewhere. Down to Ceylon. Okay. We have spotted what well, looks to be possibly an aircraft carrier. And can we prosecute said contact? Wrong button. <coughs> Looks like it's well within range. up here and indomitable Follow the albacores, follow the yellow brick road. <clears throat> All right, ignore. Um, really? We're going to be a busy, busy, busy aircraft group. Um, ignore. <clears throat> All right, indomitable. Launch albacores. Done. Your course. Over here. All right. These albacores 
probably head here. These head somewhere like that. Right, that was seven thirty seven. Wait a little bit here before I start getting fancy. So this is about a half an hour of travel. These albacores. Have about an hour of travel. So we need to go double this distance. really about here Um, anything else happening in the world? Not that I can see. Not that I'm paying attention. These albacores are gonna feast on whatever's here. Almost like free command points. And 
leave my walrus alone. Um... I want to deal with the air. Wait, it's saying it's a carrier now? Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's deal with this one first. <clears throat> Wait, what's going on? This is all albacores. Where's my fighter escort? Um... I don't know what to do. Do I let my albacores get slaughtered? I think not. I sent a fighter escort with you. Where is it? What? Low on fuel. I'm sorry, I don't comprehend. That doesn't even make sense. There's no way they ran out of fuel. All right, we're going to jump into this. Uh, let me click on it. Uh, we do indeed have a carrier there, but what is it? It's a float plane carrier, right? Orders, oh no, recognition. Japan. Damn it, went past it. So should I respect this ship? I probably should. Doesn't look like that. Doesn't. Am I looking at it backwards?
I'm looking at it backwards. Am I really that? It's just on one side, it's just on one side, the lifeboat's on the other. Yeah, this all matches up. Okay. Stella dive bombers and two fighters. Two peats, huh? I'm not so much I'm not so worried about two peats to be honest. <clears throat> I think we might continue with this particular engagement. have to target besides the light cruiser over there. Destroyers, 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 and destroyers. Lots of destroyers. Alright, these are the two primary targets, I suppose. We might go after this lead destroyer here.
assign the attacks. 1 through 22, you're going to target 1 and attack. 9 through 16, you're going to target 2 and attack. And 1 through 8, you're going to target 3 and attack. Tally-ho! sunk. Alright, our, uh, our strike was successful. For the loss of an albacore, I will take it. <clears throat> what is this that's chasing us? Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Okay. Gonna go ahead and retreat. Leave. Confirm. Very good. Uh, what's not very good is the fact. to do here.
send full Mars up as cap, maybe. Albacores, you've lost the target, evidently. Oh, because, right, I did, in fact, choose to go into the battle. How long is it going to take you guys to get over here? Uh, somewhere around here, probably. <whistles> Domino is ready to launch again. Hurricanes, please. I'd like to get some real fighters over there. 237. Yeah, I don't know why they decided to turn around. idea that our target has changed course. are running low on gases. are out of gas. Alright, we've got everything here. Sadly, our guys are right over the fleet. Dangerous of a fleet are we looking at? Bunch of destroyers again? Okay, I can deal with this. K 
Can we form up all the albacores into one group today? No, it doesn't like that. So... Okay, 13 through... 19... Form up in a different group. Fight the one plane we see over the top of their flag. Attack. 
aircraft somewhere. Alright, re-engage set attack <coughs> at a far superior angle.
there's no way that carrier lives through that. What are we shooting down so easily? Ah, bots. One destroyer and one carrier this time, but uh, the carrier was more valuable. And. Well, we only. We only tried for three ships, and one of the ships we didn't have such a good run on. Alright, I think we are done here. Six of six lost, two sunk, and we lost three planes. I would call that a success as well. Our TV, full Mars, our TV. RTBing, Hurricanes are RTBing, everyone's RTB. Excellent. <clears throat> so we got some destroyers getting away. That's fine. Do we have a patrol box or are we just stationary? I have a feeling we might be stationary. We are. Okay, um. Let's go with a somewhat narrow box. not a fan of having a stationary fleet puts yourself at a huge disadvantage if you do get attacked all right we have the fast APS group up at Bombay uh, manage cargo we're only going to be loading one of them today as we would be taking all the troops otherwise. And back down here to Salon. Thank you. 
It's okay. <clears throat> I mean, we could try to search down some of the destroyers, but I can't be bothered. As long as the destroyers aren't attempting to make a run on the carrier task force, which if they were, we would have already spotted them. Alright, it's coming up on 1800. Planes are returning. Time to fast forward through the night. What the f What kind of weather do we have over here? How did that happen? Well... Sh shite. How did that happen? I call serious shenanigans. The, the weather didn't look that bad. There goes our airfield. I'm a little annoyed by that. Just a tad. Teensy teensy bit. <clears throat> Look at them just vanish. Do these patrol circles even work anymore? Fuck, oh, man. I'm more than annoyed by that. Alright, just for schmitz and giggles, I'm gonna jump into tactical with one of these Fulmars. I wanna see what the bit. It's 24%. Well, I guess that explains it. I hate it when that happens. That was costly. That was our level 4 brought back down to a level 3. I was feeling confident with the level 4 there. Now I'm back to feeling not so competent anymore. <clears throat>
which way is this bastard heading? Good shot, we can intercept it. Maybe. Now he's managed to turn more. Alright, let's mark the ant trail. Draw a line.
Head back along that line. Honestly, jump to tactical. Yeah, I had a feeling. Okay. You're the target. We don't have time to mess around. So, line ahead. Floor it. Climb to about 5,000. <coughs> Volmar, you are not allowed to dogfight. Is the targeting three? Plan one. Break. 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 Climb. That way. Plan two. That way. One, three. Descend. That way. Break. 
Break, break, break. even capable of doing 231? I don't think they are. I think my blends can outrun them. So where's the battleship? Back here? Yeah. <clears throat> so number one thing for a Japanese aircraft carrier to do when it's on fire is collide with another ship in the fleet. Right? That's, that's what, what you do when you're a ship on fire, is you, you veer off course and slam into the nearest heavy cruiser. <clears throat> One could say that the uh, carrier is coming alongside the heavy cruiser for it to assist in doing uh, firefighting. Right now, the captain of the heavy cruiser is saying, what the hell are you doing? And the captain of the aircraft carrier is saying, um, I'm a bigger ship, you're supposed to avoid me. And we have collision. They're sending across lines. They're deploying the fire hoses. See that fire spread. No, we don't want to see the fire go out. We want to see it spread. Ah, uh, crap. Fire went out. Firefighting efforts were successful. Critical heavy on that carrier. That is too bad, it's gonna get away. Um, last known contact here.
All right. Um, this is 540. Five forty six seven fifty. So in two hours and ten minutes, we got fifty five miles. Ten hours, we're here. Let's go with fifty eight miles. Five times fifty eight. Times fifty eight zero um, four twenty five two hundred and ninety miles is our travel guess when I arrive to actually let's let's mark a station arrival point and let's use I don't know a different yeah triangle. <clears throat> All right, 250 miles. We're going to be running right into each other. Sure, I like that. All right, how about eight hours of travel? Would be four times fifty eight, thirty two, carry the three, twenty. 232 in eight hours. All right, we're going to put possible Just cluttering my map with random marks. I really don't think this course is likely. Eight hours from now, somewhere on that arc. And we need to delete this. Remove course.
Eight hours. Alright. We haven't quite ran into each other yet. And if we are continuing on the current course, it's going to be somewhere along there, like right at where I'm coming. All right, I'm fine with this. This is this is what we're going to go with. We are going to sink 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. I'll be 4 in the evening. That gives us 5, 6, 2 hours of flight time. What the hell do we have here? We have a new annoyance. It's in the swordfish range. carrier though it is done ignore Just in case things don't go so well, let's have cats up in the neighborhood. Cage and Connolly is ready to launch. New air, swordfish, please. Course something like that. Hurricanes follow swordfish.
we have possible inclement weather causing problems. My gut tells me we're in the right ish area. Yep, weather. <clears throat> what are we dealing with? Destroyer. 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 Okay, so it's not a bombard group. We have a proper carrier here. Okay, swordfish. Orders. for now. Hurricanes can do what the hurricanes do. Shit. Break, break, break. Two, why does it feel like you're not doing what you're supposed to be? Because you're still trying to make the turn. out here. These swordfish are not going to last. Oh my god. Desperate. We are desperate.
it won't be enough. It's gonna dodge the fish. It is dodging the fish. <coughs> is there any swordfish left? No. a valiant effort on the part of our flyers and so on. And shall we watch our last hurricane die? Down it goes. That would be a wrap. This was not one of the finest hours of the English military. 10 of 10 planes sunk. One enemy plane killed. And uh, carrier has come out of that unscathed. Are these Catalinas even wanting to give it a go? Uh, we're around here. Head around here. How much endurance do you have? Seems like an accurate mark on the fleet we're hunting. The one with the battleship. So that's the truth. Then we're heading we're heading here. Okay, well that'll be good to know. So What shape am I going to use? I haven't used. Can't use diamond. I think we'll use another triangle. <clears throat> okay, when we when we reach triangle, we attack triangle. When we arrive here, we attack there. <clears throat> Uh, 
Alright, cats, jump into tactical for fun and games. waiting for these spotters to head somewhere. Uh, they're heading up towards that fleet. We might be chasing the wrong spotters. Uh, we'll do this, I suppose. There it is. Found ya. Cats, go die. You're hauling balls. What kind of balls? We're not sure. Possibly Nike? But are they footballs or basketballs? Okay, lame joke. Definitely. Somewhere around there. Cats are coming for you. Are you scared? You should be. Okay. No, not RTB. Tactical. Alright. Dive, dive, dive the aircraft dive it all the time. Will they get there? We have 4,000 yards to go and a bloody army of aircraft that are going to appear out of nowhere. 3,000 yards. Five hundred yards. Fifteen hundred yards. I'm holding 
my breath. Oh no, we lost two cats. We lost two cats. Tell me you got your fish away. <clears throat> Did get the fish away. But this is an agile carrier. Two torps. We've managed to deliver two torps. I doubt it's enough. But it will at least put it into repair for a while. Exactly what all aircraft carriers should do when they're on fire. Run into the nearest friendly ship. And exactly what all destroyers should do. Cut off aircraft carriers. And it seems they have gotten the damage under control already. Minor, moderate, moderate, moderate. This is the destroyer and the aircraft carrier colliding. Counter with Trincomalee. Yeah, we're going to ignore that. Well, where's this? We're trying to ignore this. Okay. Treat. Leave. Confirm. What is the distance between the triangles? What is the distance between two sides of a triangle and its hypotenuse? Okay, 144. Am I really going to just let him get away? Don't you have Blenheims? Hole 2. I mean, it's already damaged. Yeah, okay. Talk me into it. And he seems to be heading something along these lines. Really? You're not on course, buddy. Okay, that's... Yeah. 
we need to adjust the course what is our current range to target to a bull ish okay um Fourteen twenty-three. Eleven. Oh, nice, beautiful three hours. Okay, so eleven, twelve, one, two. So three hours. We got seventy-three nautical miles. Three hours equals 73, which means 1.5 hours would equal 36.5. And we are going to give you a new projected. like that that's literally three hours from now <clears throat> okay so get rid of this mark remove and formidable Sea hurricanes definitely are not going to work for cap. Um, full Mars. Naked full Mars should work. Are we within range of the albacores? I mean, yes. All right. Two hours. So this is a three hour mark. So somewhere about here. And full Mars. Follow said albacores. Please. You are not looking to be heading in that. You're looking to be heading more down here. I think that's fine. I think we can still deal with with the situation. Um, Blenheim. Tactical. Three is our target. Target the three. Blends.
platform a line ahead with a little bit of a gap, please. <clears throat> Start turning right into the contact. Waste no time. good line up here. We have aircraft. Lens. You guys need to speed up. Your formation. Yeah, you'll speed up, right? They did get their bombs away. So cross your fingers that these are good. <clears throat> Only two bombs.
spread the... Oh, damn it. We're not spreading the word today. And it's still moderate, moderate on the carrier. <clears throat> we might have expended its, extended its repair time, but not by a whole hell of a lot. Abacores. These Fulmars, how are they doing endurance wise? Okay. Actually, if we successfully sink the aircraft carrier, then we could follow up with a flight of albacores unescorted. That makes sense in my mind. I wonder, I'm thinking about would torpedo boats be a worthwhile investment to protect ports with? Like if I put 10 torpedo boats at Trinconnelly as a last ditch defense. I mean, it sounds kind of comical, but well, it could be entertaining to watch if anything. Um.
Why did you guys go way back there? Huh? What the hell is this? Well, it's definitely not what I thought it was. Fulmars are leaving. Tactical? Oh shit, the Albacores are not in the... <clears throat> Laid plans of mice and men. Right, who's who? Um. Smaller group. Target three attack. Bigger group. Target five. Target five attack. The hope is that because they're targeting something and the attack button's been hit. It's not gonna despawn me. I don't like the fact that they're turning nose into my torpedo bombers. So I'm letting Fomars engage where they're going to get their asses shot down for albacores that I don't know are going to actually make it to target or not. This attack is not going well. Yeah. Screw you. All my albacores just vanished. So we're just going to retreat, leave, confirm. Now we have a different problem. Now we have a fleet that just vanished. And how are we going to sink it? Problems, problems indeed. Oh 
Well, we're going to be sinking it without air cover. Suicidal. Are we really going to do that? We're going to lose so many planes. Maybe they won't have their their air cover out. <clears throat> I mean, maybe they, maybe. Lots of maybes in the world. These albacores are out of endurance. We're gonna jump into tactical. We see ships. Oh my god, are we a long way from them? <laughs> this is not exactly what you wanna see. say this is a bad idea.
Would it be cheesy? It would be. What time is it? It's 1700. Either I attack today or I don't attack at all. You're gonna lose all of the albacores. Am I? Do I know that he's not the only plane in the air? No. What kind of carrier are we attacking? I think it's a light CV. I think it's you right there. You would be the last of your kind. Six clods, six zeros. What's the likelihood all 12 are in the air? Yeah, but six zeros could wreak a lot of havoc. That's a clod. These are albacores. Yeah, but there's a lot of albacores. There's, there's a lot of firepower in numbers. I see any friends behind you? No. Aircraft bearing what?
coming in on the carrier. <clears throat> Carrier off, it's not going to survive. Okay, I am concerned about these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's cease, form up. side of the battleship. Battleship sunk. <clears throat> um, cease. Form up.
be a very, very, very dead heavy cruiser. Overkill is the only kill. Sunk yet? I'm, I'm, I'm amazed you're not instantly sunk. Alright, there we are. <clears throat> okay, so it turned out they only had one clod in the air, and that clod did a horrible job trying to shoot down our albacores. The albacores that we lost were to anti air fire from the battleship and and other guns in the fleet, not from the cloud itself. All in all, this strike could have potentially gone terribly. Had six zeros been in the air, it would have been a far different story. <clears throat> but that was a very risky and probably stupid attack on my part. I should have scrubbed it. But, uh, it worked out, so, nothing to complain about. There we are, beautiful. Alright, we might be able to bring in some backup now to our campaign. We might have enough for escorts for the Hermes. So that's what I'm excitedly thinking we're gonna do right now. I don't think I can spawn Hermes at Colombo. Hermes is... whoa! I can! And it's the only place I can spawn you. Well, that wasn't what I was expecting, but so be it. Okay, 68 will leave me with 78. Sixteen? Sixteen leftover points? I should be able to get an escort for the Columbo for that. All right. Um, warships, light cruisers. Already got the one Manix. Taito's not available. Might have to do a destroyer escort. Well, we're gonna have to do a destroyer escort. Okay.
I honestly, I don't know my British ships very well. Is there anything available at Columba to escort? No. <laughs> oh crap. Okay, so a a different country. Um Do you have any destroyers? No. Dutch, you have destroyers. They are available at Colombo. I'm not sure how good they are. They're a little costly. Looking for something a bit cheaper. That's the only option. Um, India doesn't have anything. Uh, Greece has some destroyers, evidently. They're up in Bombay, it looks like. I'll leave it on destroyer, just change the country. Yeah, Japan and Germany would love to escort us, I'm sure. Escort us right to the bottom. Uh, how about the Aussies? Admiralty class. Okay, we've, we've got a possibility here. That's all they have is these two. Uh, so really our options are the Admiralty class or that Dutch that Dutch one for nine points or the Admiralty class for six points. Well, me being a cheapskate is probably going to go with the Admiralty class. Dual purpose guns, yes. Okay, I'm fine with that. Secondary guns, dual purpose, yes. Okay, so they're they're not terrible AA wise. Um, total number of guns five. They have depth charges. Um, they can do ASW. And Isaac swears you only have the one. Okay, you have six dual purpose main guns, no secondaries. So your ASW capacity. You can do ASW. Air radar and surface radar. Do the other one have radar? Okay, we, we've got some radar capacity here, evidently. That's interesting, actually. Um, carrier should have radar, right? I didn't even check. <coughs> Get back to the Aussies. Aussies don't have radar. You know what? I think we're going to get one Admiralty and one of the uh, these Dutch Isaacs. Well, there's only one to be to be had. It's it's the only one of its kind. That costs 83 of our 84 points. All right, done. And then line ahead is fine. Vampire, I think I want you leading the way. And Isaac Swears, you can trail. Alright, 
let's get you up and around the horn here. Salon's defense just got a little bit stronger. Yeah, speaking of radar, um, I can't really see stuff. Of, well, if I go to here, I can see stuff about stuff. So back to the Brits. I don't know my Brit ships very well. Um, Carriers. The CVs. Okay, illustrious. You have any radar capacity? You do. And indomitable also. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. <clears throat> Alright, so we accomplished the strike. We successfully took down the ships we wanted to take down. Now let's get rid of all the marks associated with this operation. And let's get the fleet operating back where we're expecting it to operate. Up here. We came, we saw, we kicked booty. The thing with the Hermes here is it oh, too dark, but it doesn't really have, it just has 20 swordfish. It doesn't have anything to scout with. It would almost be beneficial. I wonder, do we have any kind of when we get paid on the 35th, could we add, let's just go to all, search by all. And we're looking for, I guess CVL, is Hermes the only option? Suharyo, Tayo. Okay, that's not, I'm looking for not, maybe it's considered a CVE, Avenger, yeah, CVE type is what we are looking for, and you're not available yet, till July, January, February, March, April. May, June, July.
Do I have anything that can launch float plans? Wait, there's a merchant. There's a merchant that carries plans. Which one was it? Um, the Empire? I think it's the Empire, which is an Indian merchant. Indian C A M Cam. How many planes do we got? One. One sea hurricane. Well, that's not exactly going to give us a whole heck of a lot of eyes. We've seen nothing come into this area, so we're going to set up a box, like right about here, with the Hermes. That should be close enough to where we can support with the swordfish. Basically additional swordfish for Trincomalee, if you will, and uh, <clears throat> not have to worry about being intercepted by any surface fleets. Alright, we got people going to where they're going. Alright, carrier has arrived. What kind of box are we going to do with you? Um, a tall, thin one, right? And repeat. <clears throat> Actually, let's get the oh we gotta rename this um c t f Hermes. the box that's the box that's where Hermes is gonna be tied to for the rest of this campaign or at least for a great while she's completely here to defend Trincomalee Okay, planes are flying, 
Colombo, you have not quite reached your your location. It is kind of time to wrap up the episode. However, we're going to go a little bit further. Try to get Colombo to station, or else I'll forget about Colombo in the beginning of the next episode. Encounter with Trincomalee already? Oh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> um, yeah, so we're going to save it up right here. We're going to save it on a cliff, on a cliff holder. Uh, I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to put a mark out here. some strange mark that'll make me think sure and we're gonna name it reminder Colombo merchant group okay that's my reminder Hopefully it's not in such a location I'm not going to notice it. And we will... Well, not save the game yet. Okay, so we've taken care of all the other merchant groups. Check. Uh, now let's see how we did in the episode. Which is not there. It's here. Enemy losses. We are looking at, in this episode, what did we do in this episode? Uh, good question. Okay, that's the last episode, right? Everything through the 27th would be the last episode. So this is this episode. An escort carrier. A light cruiser, two destroyers, a light carrier, a battleship, a heavy cruiser, a light carrier. So three carriers, one battleship, a heavy cruiser, a light cruiser, and a couple of destroyers. It's not been a bad day uh, at the office, if you will quite productive anyway I am James Johnson aka software blade this is my content hopefully you're enjoying it if so please smash that like button consider subscribing and until the next time all peace <laughs>